Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ray and B. Dillard Field here in Tigerville, South Carolina at North Greenville University. Should have a very fascinating game today, the second game of this series, against Palm Beach Atlantic Selfish and the North Greenville Crusaders. On the mound for the Crusaders today is Tucker Burgess. He is right-handed pitcher, 6'4", redshirt senior from Liberty, South Carolina, transfer from Clemson University. Should be a fascinating game. Palm Beach Atlantic took the first game of the two-game series. So it should be a, a great game. It's a great day to play. A little windy, but sun's out. Feels good. Oh, absolutely. have been two great two great days to play baseball after all the rain that we received last week. Playing off of the selfish, the center fielder, Derek Schwimmer. Here's Derek Schwimmer leading off for the selfish. 5'10 junior from Port St. Lucie, Florida, transfer from Palm Beach State College. He'll get the start in center field today, batting 317 on the season. In there for strike one. And there for strike two, 0 2 count, the swimmer. Up high, ball one, one two count. Ground ball over to Driscoll, throws it over to Sasser, and he gets him at first one out for the Crusaders. The third baseman, Sean Houck. Now batting is Sean Houck. Six-one sophomore from Royal Palm Beach, Florida. Outside ball one, one-zero -oh count. Swing to that pitch, 1-1 one, one count to Hauk. And there for strike two, 1-2 one, two count to Hauk. And he gets him swinging. Two outs for the Crusaders here in the top of the first. Good pitch by Burgess. The shortstop, Riley Harold. Here's Riley Harold. He's a 6'3 senior from Omaha, Nebraska. Transfer from University of Nebraska at Omaha. Ball one, one oh. And Harold to get a start today at shortstop and comes in today batting two sixty five. And there for strike one, one one count. Fouled off one and two. It's a 
the ground ball. Utah Jones fields it. A little wide on throw, but Sasser catches it, but he's off the bag. Yeah, great effort by Utah Jones to get to that. It's just making the throw, just couldn't do it. Definitely good effort on that play. Good job by Sasser to keep it in front of him and keep Harold at first. Here's Danny Tufferello now batting for Palm Beach Atlantic. He's a 5'10 redshirt senior from Fort Myers, Florida, transfer from Tusculum College. 1-0 count to Tufferello. He'll get the start today at second base and comes in today batting 282. Fouled out of play, one and one. Just throws over, but Harold is back safely. There's a line drive into left field, and that is a single for Tufferello. Runners on second and first for Palm Beach Atlantic. Two outs here in the first inning, top of the first. The right fielder, Brandon Seltzer. Here's Brandon Seltzer. Six two junior from Staten Island, New York, transfer from Fairleigh Dickinson University. He'll get the start in right field and he leads this team batting in batting average at three eighty coming into today. Oh yeah. That's a good average to have, 380. Outside ball one. When you want to talk about batting averages, just wait till the bottom of this inning when North Greenville has four players that are batting above 400. We'll take a look into that when North Greenville comes up to bat. Yeah, and that's impressive. In there for a strike, 1-1 one, one count to Seltzer. In there for a strike, 1-2 one, count to Seltzer. Fouled out of play, still one and two, but two outs here in the top of the first. He gets Seltzer swinging. Good pitch by Burgess. And that is the end of the top of the first. Good job by Burgess to get out of a jam there. So Palm Beach gets two hits, but leaves both of them on. It's they can't put any runs to the plate in the top of the first.
pitching today for the Selfish of Palm Beach Atlantic University is number seven, Brad Van Aslan, 6'4 junior from Minoka, Illinois, and a transfer from Joliet Junior College. Leading off for North Greenville will be Jeremy Whitehead. When we're talking about batting averages, Jeremy Whitehead leads the team at batting 531 after 12 games. And then batting second will be the left fielder Jared Williams. He's batting 426. And then batting third, the shortstop Utah Jones, batting 400. very good average from your first three hitters. And it's not like we're just three or four games in. I mean, this is, what, the 14th game of the season. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Leading off for the Crusaders, the second base number eight, Jeremy Whitehead. Here's Jeremy Whitehead. 5'9 sophomore from Huntersville, North Carolina, transfer from East Carolina University. He shows bunt, pulls back, ball one, 1-0 one -oh count. Two-oh -oh count to Whitehead. That one just missed. Not yes. sure where, but it missed. Call ball two, 2-0 two -oh count. In there for strike one, 2-1 two -one to Whitehead. Pop up. Good effort by the first baseman for Palm Beach Atlantic, Connor Rowland. But it is foul, 2 2 count to Whitehead. Fouled out of play down the third base line, still 2-2. Two -two. Good pitch by Van Aslan, and he gets Whitehead looking for a strikeout and the first out of the bottom of the first. Now batting the left fielder number one, Jared Williams. Coming up to the plate is Jared Williams. He's a 5'11 senior from Gilbert, South Carolina, transfer from USC Lancaster, as he bats now for the Crusaders. Up high, ball one. Jared Williams is a very speedy guy, as you might have heard just before that first pitch, someone in the infield yelled out, he's got some wheels. Absolutely. He can definitely get around the bases. Fouled out of play, 1-1. One, one. Jared Williams is 7-for-7 seven seven on stolen bases this season. Yeah. 
in the dirt for ball two, two one count to Williams. There's a rip. Deep center. Oh. Great play by the center Great fielder. Great play there. by Schwimmer. Very good contact by Williams, but a wonderful play in center by Schwimmer for Palm Beach Atlantic. Stepping in the shortstop number two, Utah Jones. Now we'll see a shortstop, Utah Jones, batting 400 on the season. Leads this team in doubles with six. Senior out of Stillwater, Oklahoma, and transfer from the University of North Carolina. Ball one to Jones, 1-0 one -oh count. Little high, ball two, two oh. Little high again, three oh. Strike number one, three one to Jones. Called strike two, full count to Utah Jones. Out of play, still full count. Jones flies out to the left fielder. And that'll bring it into the first inning. North Greenville goes down in order. Ben Aslan did a great job there in the bottom of the first. As Tucker Burgess approaches the mound the Crusaders to start the top of the second. And leading off for Palm Beach Atlantic be Connor Rowland. He's batting 333 on the season. He's tied with three other players for the lead in doubles with three. And he leads the team in RBIs. Yes, he had a very good game last night. Hit two homers for the Selfish. Oh yeah, I see that. He has four home runs, which leads the team. He has four and the next highest is one and that's five other players have one home run.
on deck will be the designated hitter, Brandon Smith. He's batting 340 on the season. Leading off of the Selfish, the first baseman, Connor Rowland. Roland is a 6'3 redshirt senior from Boca Raton, Florida, transfer from Taylor University. Low, ball one. There's a ground ball over to Utah Jones at short, and he throws it over to first. And Adam Sasser had a good pick at first to get the first out of the inning. The left fielder, Andreas Papa George. Now approaching the plate is Andreas Papa George. Sits through senior from Pleasanton, California, and a transfer from College of the San Mateo. There for strike one to Papa George. Swings at that pitch. That slapped in the right field. He's going to get a double out of that. It's going to be a stand up double for Andreas Papa George. Good piece of hitting right there. So a stand-up double for the Selfish for Papa George. And here's Marcos Perez, 5'11", senior from Miami, Florida. Low, ball one. out at a play, 1-1 one, one count. for a strike. Good pitch by Burgess. 1-2 count to Perez. And he'll strike out. That'll be the second out of the inning. And now we'll see Marcos Stepping Perez. Yeah, excuse me. Marcos we got out of order batter. there. So our apologies. This will be Marcos Perez. As Andreas Papa George just struck out. And Brandon Smith is on second base. Brandon Smith at the double. That's my apologies. Just misses outside. Oh, 
And Perez calls time. And now I'll step back in. Perez fouls it off. One, two count. Put two outs here in the top of the second. Little low, but John Michael Fell makes a good stop. 2-2 two, two count to Perez. Perez fouls it off, still 2-2. Two, two. Full count now to Perez. Three two pitch. This is low and outside. Burgess walks Perez. Runners on second and first. Now for the Selfish. The center fielder, Derek Schwimmer. Now the top of the order for the Selfish. Derek Schwimmer. And there for strike one. Oh, one count. Foul ball out of play. 0 2 to Schwimmer. Outside, ball one, one two count. Good pitch by Burgess, and he gets out of another jam.
had about a 30 minute delay, but it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Leading off for the Crusaders, the first baseman, Adam Sasser. Here's Sasser, he's a 6'5 senior from Evans, Georgia. pitch misses to make the count 1 and 0. Oh. There's a rip down the first base line. That's fair. That's fair. No hold up at second for a leadoff double. Good piece of hitting right there from Sasser as he has a stand up double to start out the bottom of the second. Now bring up the right fielder, Jeffrey Chandler Jr. Batting 327 the right fielder, on the season. Chandler. Chandler is a six foot senior out of Scottsdale, Arizona, transfer from Gateway Community College. Swings at that pitch. Over to Tafarello at second base, and he gets Chandler at first. Meanwhile, Sasser moves over to third base. Good job by Chandler to, to get Sasser over to third. Stepping in for the Crusaders, the catcher, John Michael Fail. John Michael Fail will step up to the plate. The catcher batting 441 on the season. Leading the team in RBIs with 20. Freshman out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina. This one's popped up. Get out of play. With that foul ball, this brings the count to 1-1, one, one, two fail. And there's someone warming up in the North Greenville bullpen, a right-hander. High on that pitch for ball number two, two one count to fail. Upstairs, ball three, three one count. outside. I'll put runners on the corners here with one out. Ben Aslan walks fail. The designated hitter, Sean Parson. Here's, Par here's Parsons, Sean Parsons. Parsons, a redshirt junior from West Columbia, South Carolina, out of River Bluff High School. That 
pitch is in the dirt, but Perez does a good job of blocking it, keeping yes. the runners put. Very good block there by Perez, definitely. And this being all turf field, the ball's bouncing off the, the turf a lot more predictable than off of traditional dirt. Absolutely. Outside, ball two. 2-0 to Parsons. Outside, 3-0. Two in a row. So I'll load the bases. Van Aslan walks. Now we'll see a mound visit. Back waltz for the selfish. The bases will be loaded for Connor Driscoll, the third baseman for the Crusaders. Driscoll is a 5'11 junior from Ridgeland, South Carolina, and a transfer from Daytona State College. Stepping in for the Crusaders, the third baseman, Connor Driscoll. Bases loaded, one out. Crusaders. Let's see if they can take advantage of this bases loaded opportunity. Van Aslan delivers. Strike one, 0 1 count to Driscoll. Another good block by Perez. 1-1 one, one count. Driscoll swings at it, but it gets away from Perez. I'll score a run. And the Crusaders score, and that puts them up 1-0. Sasser so scores as the ball gets away from Perez. John Michael Fell and Sean Parsons also advance on the ball getting away. Another good block by Perez. 2-2 two -two count. To Driscoll. Fouled off again, get it back by Driscoll. Still 2-2. Two -two. Foul. Excellent effort by Brandon Seltzer to try to get it, but absolutely just out of his reach. Mm -hmm. 
Seltzer crashed into the wall out there, but he looks like he's all right. Definitely good effort on that play. Dreschko grounds out. Good play, but good play by Hauk over there at third. Yeah, did a good job of holding the runner at third. So nobody advances on that one. Stepping in for the Crusaders, the center fielder Jack. In a situation Warren. like that, you just want to make contact with the ball, but you just hit it to probably the one person you can't hit it to. In that situation. Good play by Halk at third. Two out. Here's Jack Morris, the center fielder for the Crusaders. Fouled out of play, 0 1 count. Jack Morris is a 5'10 senior from Ruckersville, Virginia, transfer from Liberty University. Just misses outside. 1-1 one, one count to Morse. He's crushed to left field. Oh, oh wow. Wow, Papa George tried catching the ball and he went through the gate. Went through the gate. We hope Papa George is okay. I'll check on him. He's up and looks like he's walking it off. Very good effort by Papa George, even though he didn't make the catch. up out here now. Yes, it is. Jess gets a piece of that one. Good job by Morris just to stay alive in the bat. Still 1-2. And outside, 2-2 two -two to Morris. Gets a raise. Now score another one. That's the second run of the inning scored on a pass ball. Crusaders take advantage of that. 
Two times this inning, two nothing Crusaders. Full count to Morris. With two outs here in the bottom of the second. That's it hard in between the shortstop and third baseman. That'll score another run. Good piece of hitting right there by Morris. I'll make it three nothing. Good piece of hitting right there by Morris with two outs. And the Crusaders are the back to the top of the order. With Jeremy Whitehead approaching the plate. Whitehead swings at the first pitch, but Derek Schwimmer makes the catch in the outfield, but the Crusaders get three in the bottom of the second. Very good inning by the Crusaders. So North Rim will score three runs on two hits and leave one on in the bottom of the second. Leading off for Palm Beach Atlantic would be Sean Hawk. Lemke's first batter that he'll face is Sean Hauk, the third baseman. First bit swinging over to Utah Jones. Utah Jones gets Hauk at first. So one pitch, one out. One pitch, one out is right for Lemke. Shortstop Riley Harrell. I'll bring up the shortstop Riley Harold. Strike one, no one count. Strike two, O2 oh two, to Harold. <laughs> oh, 
outside, one, two. One ball, two strikes. Outside, two, two. Fill it up, 3-2. 3 two pitches, crushed, crushed right field. And it's out of here. Good piece of hitting right there from Harold. He crushed the ball on a full count pitch. Solo shot for Riley Harold of the Selfish to make it 3-1 Crusaders here in the top of the third. The second baseman, Danny Tupperello. Here's Denny Tupperello, first pitch swinging, out of play, 0-1. Out of play again, 0 2 to Tufferello. Ground ball over to Utah Jones, and he gets Tufferello at first. Good play by Jones. Two down here in the top of the third. The right fielder, Brandon Seltzer. Here's Brandon Seltzer to the plate for Palm Beach Atlantic. Shows bunt. Lays and he bunts it. it. He'll beat it out. Good play right there from Seltzer. The two out bunt will be successful. The first baseman, Connor Rowland. Seltzer shows good hustle on that play, beats out the bunt. Brings up Connor Rowland, the first baseman. For the selfish. First, Pete, first pitch swinging, fouled off. 0 1. Good block by Fell. And the count is 1-1. One, one. Another one. Two one count. Two rolling. Ball gets away from Sasser at first. And Roland reaches safely. Selfish have runners on first and second with two outs. Stepping in for the Selfish, that the will go down to hit. Sasser dove for it. Just 
went right off his glove. Went back to cover first, but nobody could get to the ball and throw it to him in time. Definitely good effort by Sasser at first. Just couldn't come away with it. Brandon Smith at the plate for the Selfish, who doubled his last appearance. He's now batting 353 on the season. Fouls off the first pitch, 0-1 counts to Smith. Smith fouls off another 0-2 count. Double steal will be successful as both runners will move up a bag. Now there's two runners in scoring position. Good, ba good base running by the Selfish. One two count to Smith. Now, ball put in the gap, ties up the game. Chopper down the third baseline is foul. Still one two count. There's a hit up the middle. Let's see if Jack Morris throws home. And that'll tie it up. The ball reached the backstop, and now a runner still in scoring position. The score is now 3-3. Three 3-3, three. Three, three, good hit by Smith up the middle. Greens home two for the Selfish. So now that, that successful double steal is huge. Without that double steal, you're looking at probably runners on the corners here. Here's left fielder Andreas Papa George. Excuse me. Now have a mound visit. Or the catcher will just come up to talk to the pitcher. Papa George fouls off the first pitch. 0-1 count. Two outs here in the top of the third. Good pitch by Lemke. 
Good pitch by Lemke as it gets Papa George looking. And they call third strike. And Palm Beach Atlantic scores three runs in the top half of the third. And we are tied 3-3. As we head to the bottom of the third here in Tigerville, South Carolina. On the campus of North Greenville. Palm Beach Atlantic has three runs on four hits. Leads one on base. Man, most of that was with two outs, too. Because you had the home run, and then the next batter gets out, and then two runners get on base with two outs, and both get driven in. Like you said, the double steal was huge, and the selfish capitalized. And the bunt, too. And the bunt, absolutely. It was risky, but definitely paid off. So leading off for North Greenville will be the left fielder, Jared Williams. Leading off for the Crusaders, the left fielder, Jared Williams. See if the Crusaders can capitalize here in the bottom half of the third. They're two, three, and four hitters. Low ball one. One oh. Upstairs, ball two. Two oh count to Williams. Little high, 3 0. In there for strike one, 3 1 count. Chopper down the third base line is foul. Full count to Williams. Fouled out of play. Still full count. Three two pitch misses high. That'll put Jared Williams on first, and remember, we were talking about his speed earlier, seven for seven on stolen bases. The shortstop, Utah Jones. 
Ben Aslan walks. Williams. We're now going to have a mound visit from... Trying to see a number here. I believe that's 11. I believe the new pitcher for Palm Beach Atlantic is Kevin Nunes. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the sailfish, number 11, yep. Kevin, Kevin Nunes. Nunes. He has a zero ERA. Two appearances. He's thrown 3.2 innings. He struck out six. Nunez is a 5'9 junior from Tampa, Florida, and is a transfer from Hillsborough Community College. Nunez, first batter that he will have to face is Utah Jones for the Crusaders. First pitch is up high. 1-0. Check the runner at first. And rightfully so, with Jared Williams being so quick. Upstairs for ball two, 2-0. Two Pitch by Nunez. 2 1 count. Nunez throws over once more. Nunez throws over again. Outside, ball three, three one count.
Now fill it up at three and two. Good pitch there by Nunez. That was a rip. That's a hit and run, and it'll work. Good hit by Utah Jones. Jerry Williams advances over to third, and that is a good piece of hitting right there by Utah Jones. It's now runners on the corners here with two out or no outs. Sorry. Here comes Adam Sasser. The leader in home runs. Stepping in for the Crusaders, the first baseman, Adam Sasser. Sasser doubled in his first appearance. Outside on the first pitch, ball one to Sasser, 1-0. Oh. Fouled out of play, 1-1 one, one count to Sasser. And someone's car alarm has gone off. Let's hit high. Fly ball out into to the left outfield. Field. Sean Houck makes the play for the first out of the inning. The runners will stay put. It's a big first out there for Palm Beach. It's now a double play will end, can end the inning. The right fielder, Jeff Chandler. Here's Jeff Chandler. Runners on the corners, one out for the Crusaders. Let's see if they can capitalize. First pitch swinging for Chandler. Foul down the third base line. 0-1. Oh, Inside, ball one, one, one count. Utah Jones was running on that pitch, but it was fouled off by Chandler. One, two count. Fouled out of play, one, two count still. Fouled off again, still 1-2. Just got a piece of that. That's nubbed to the first baseman. He's gonna throw it to second, he's gotta tag him. And they turn the double play. Good play by Roland at first. And the selfish get out of 
They jam. Good pitching by Kevin Nunez. As Nunez gets out of a jam. Despite getting runners on the corners with no outs, North Greenville leave empty handed. According to the scoreboard, they got a run on that double play, but I don't think that's the case. We will see what they call. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Crusaders, number 33, Grayson Hicker. And the run will count. The run will count. According to the stats. So he crossed home before they tagged the runner out at second on the double play. Good awareness by Jared Williams as he scores on that play. But the Selfish still turn the double play to get out of the inning as we head to the top of the fourth. The Crusaders will have a new pitcher and it will be Grayson Hickert. Six seven, freshman out of Huntersville, North Carolina. Leading off the selfish. The and with it getting later in the afternoon, that sun's setting and might start to see some problems with the sun and might get a sun delay soon. We will have to see about that. Leading off for the selfish is catcher Marcos Perez. First pitch was a ball. Second pitch gets away from Fell. 2-0 to Perez. Here in the top of the fourth. Perez shows butt, pulls it back. Called first strike, 2-1 count. Two one pitch. There's a hit. It's ripped up the middle. Good hit by Perez. So Perez with the leadoff single, and that'll take it to the top of the order. Center fielder Derek Schwimmer. Derek Schwimmer. Schwimmer stands in, Perez on first. He shows bunt and taps it foul. Count is 0-1. Back to back, hits by Palm Beach. 
Five runners on first and second with no outs. Good piece of hitting right there from Schwimmer. Brings up Sean Houck. The third baseman, Sean Houck. John Michael Fell calls time and he will go visit. Grayson Hickard at the mound. First pitch is low, 1-0 count. He's showing a bunt. Pulls it back, swings at it and misses. They just caught a piece of it. is 1-1 one, one to Sean Houck. Fail calls time. Getting the signs from Coach Powell over there at the dugout. Shows Bun again, but Hauk pulls back. 2 1. Hauk fouls off the bun attempt, 2-2 two, two count. North Greenville does have a pitcher warming up now in the bullpen. Shows bunt again. Good play by Hickert. And he'll get the out at third. As they get Perez advancing over to third. So sacrifice bunt unsuccessful. One out, a double play will end the inning for North Greenville. 
Yes, it will. And now batting is Riley Harold. First pick swinging. Utah Jones will. Now Jared Williams will call him off and take that. I'll be two outs. Good communication there between Williams and Jones. As Williams called off Jones and he makes the second out of the inning. The second baseman, Danny Tufferello. And here comes Danny Tufferello. Two outs, two on. For the Selfish. Good pitch by Hicker. And that curveball absolutely fooled the batter right there. Count is 0 1 to Tufferello. Outside, called ball one, one one count. Runners are going. We both will advance just one base. So now two runners in scoring position with two outs. Here in the top of the fourth. Two one count to Tufferello as the ball gets past fail. Away, two two count. I'll even it up at 3-2. Full count to Tufferello. Big pitch here. And he'll just foul this one off. Good at bat by Tufferello. The count is full. 3-2, two, two out, runners on second and third for Palm Beach Atlantic. Fly ball right to Jack Morris in center field and good job by Grayson Hickard as the Crusaders get out of a jam. And lead 4-3, headed to the bottom of the fourth. Man, look at the difference in hits. Palm Beach Atlantic has three times the amount of hits as North Greenville, but North Greenville leading this one by one run. It's just how baseball goes. No question about that. Palm Beach Atlantic team can really hit the baseball. Mm -hmm. 
but the Crusaders get out of a jam and still lead the game. Palm Beach Atlantic has left seven on base through four innings. Whereas North Greenville has just left one on base out of their three innings at bat. Kevin Nunez remains in the game for the Selfish. John, off for the John Michael Fell will lead it off. John Michael Fell. First pitch is inside, ball one. And their first strike, one one count to Fell. This one's hit deep to right field. But it's caught. Seltzer makes the play in right for the first out of the inning. The designated hitter, Sean Parsons. And here is Sean, Sean Parsons, now batting for the Crusaders. College strike. 0-1 oh, count to Parsons. Outside, ball one, one, one count. Outside, 2-1 count. Off the corner for strike number two, two two count to Parsons. Two two pitch gets by the shortstop. And will be in the center field for a one out single. Good piece of hitting right there by Parsons. After that leadoff single, that'll bring up the, the third, third baseman, baseman, Connor Driscoll. Connor Driscoll. Inside, ball one. Ball two, two zero count to Driscoll. Good pitch there by Nunez. Two one count to Driscoll. Nunez throws over. This one's 
flown out to center field for the second out of the inning. Driscoll flies out to Schwimmer in center field. The center fielder, Jack Morris. Here's the nine hole hitter for the Crusaders, Jack Morris. Coming to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Shows bunt. Gets away from the catcher, Perez. And Parsons advances to second. On the pass ball. Out away. The count is 1 1 to Morris. Outside 2 1. Pitch by Nunez. 2 2 count, two outs. <laughs> Nunez gets Jack Morris swinging for the third out of the inning. 4 3 Crusaders as we head to the top of the fifth. Baseball fans, here is your great entire and automotive upcoming game for North Greenville. The Crusaders will be back in action Friday as they play host to the flying fleet of Erskine College. First pitch Friday afternoon is scheduled for 3 30. Grayson Hickert will remain in the game for the Crusaders. Wing it off for Palm Beach Atlantic will be the right fielder, Brandon Seltzer. One for two on the day with a run and a stolen base. for strike one, 0-1 oh, one count to Seltzer. Outside, called ball, 1-1 one, one count. Back, back, back. 
High fly ball it's into the to outfield. What a catch by Jack Morris in center field for the Crusaders. Seltzer turned on that ball. Had very good contact, but a wonderful play by Jack Morris as he tracks it down on the warning track in center field. The first baseman, Connor Rowland. Man, I thought for sure that was over his head. I did too, when it came off the bat. It looked very well for Seltzer and Palm Beach Atlantic, but what a play by Morris. Showed some great mobility on that play. Here's Connor Rowland for Palm Beach Atlantic. Count is 1 0. Rollins one for two on the day with a run and a stolen base. He leads this team in home runs. Outside 2 0. Good pitch there by Hickert. 2 1 count. Swing and a miss, 2 2 count to Roland. A little low, and the count is full. Out away, still full count. <laughs> Fouled away once more, good at bat by Roland. The count is still full. Roland flies out to Jared Williams in left field for the second out of the top of the fifth. The designated hitter, Brandon Smith. Here's Brandon Smith. Little high, ball one. He's lifted up to the right side of the infield. And Jeremy Whitehead will come up with it. Nice job by Hicker. 4-3 Crusaders as we head to the bottom of the fifth.
Swing it off for the Crusaders to be the leadoff man, Jeremy Whitehead. Leading off for the Crusaders, the second baseman, Jeremy Whitehead. Kevin Nunez stays in the game for Palm Beach Atlantic as he faces Whitehead. In there for strike one, 0 1 count. Upstairs, ball one, 1 1 count. Just foul down the first base line. Good contact right there by Whitehead. Pitch is low, 2-2 two, two count. There's a chopper to second baseman Tufferello. A good hustle right there by Whitehead as he beats the throw by Tufferello. And Whitehead really got down that line quickly. The left fielder, Jared Williams. Jared Williams shows bunt, but pulls it back. And that's ball one, 1-0 one -oh count. Up high, 2-0 -oh to Williams. Williams bunts, and it is caught by first baseman. Great diving catch, sir. Connor Rowland. Yes, what a play by him. So one out for the Crusaders, and that'll bring up Utah Jones. Utah Jones. First pitch is low. 1 0 count. Nunez throws over. Whitehead's running. He's safe. 
Riley Harold seemed to drop the ball when trying to lay down the tag. Looked like a pretty good throw from Marcos Perez, but Harold couldn't hang on, hang on to it. Good hustle by Whitehead, good base running. Upstairs, ball two, 2-1 two, count to Utah Jones. Swing and a miss on that pitch, 2-2 two, two count to Utah Jones. 2-2, two, two, one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Pitch is a little low. Full count now. Utah Jones pops up to shortstop Riley Harrell. Two down here in the bottom of the fifth. With two outs, I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Adam Sasser. The first baseman, Adam Sasser. See if the cleanup hitter for the Crusaders can take advantage of Whitehead being at second base and in scoring position. Sasser's one for two on the day. Swings at the first pitch, 0-1 counts. He had a double and scored a run. And I believe it was the third inning. He can definitely hit the ball. This would be a perfect time for a timely hit by Sasser. Nunez fools him on that pitch. One, two count to Sasser. And it hits, hits him. Two runners on base. Right we'll bring up Jeffrey Chandler Jr. He's 0 for 2 on the day. You know, look, Italia hit right here. Absolutely. First pitch is high, 1-0. Side ball two, 2 0 count to Chandler. <laughs> Up high, 3 0 count. He 
three. Swings away at the 3-0 pitch. 3-0 swinging, 3-1 count to Chandler. And he walks them. Bases loaded for the Crusaders. Catcher John Michael Fail, who leads the team in RBIs, will come up to the plate. The catcher, John Michael Fail. This could potentially be a big moment in the game if the Crusaders can extend this lead. We will see what happens here was John Michael Fell approaches the plate. First pitch is high, 1-0. Good pitch by Nunez. 1-1 one, one count. Another good pitch by Nunez. 1-2 count to fail. Pitch right here. Nunez gets fail swinging. Palm Beach Atlantic gets out of the bases loaded jam. 4 3 Crusaders as we head to the top of the sixth. That was a good job by Nunez to get out of that jam. Yeah, after hitting a batter and then walking the next one. Things weren't looking too good for him, but came back and got a huge strikeout. So North Greenville leaves three on base that inning. He gets no runs on one hit, no errors. So North Greenville has now left five on base. Beats Atlantic is last seven on base. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Crusaders, number now, thirty-two, pitcher. Duncan Callahan. So the new pitcher will be Duncan Callahan. Zero ERA on the year. Only has one appearance and it's only thrown one inning. He struck out one in that one appearance. Duncan Callahan is a six foot red shirt sophomore from Hamer, South Carolina. Transfer from Florence Darlington Technical College.
the Sailfish, the left fielder, Marco Maleo. First batter that Callahan will face is left fielder Marco Maleo, who came in the game for Andreas Papa George in left field. First pitch is outside, ball one. Good pitch by Callahan for a strike. Count is 1-1. One, one. Little low, ball two, two one count. Fly ball, Jack Morris is under it. One away here in the top of the sixth as Maleo flies out. The catcher, Marco Perez. Here's Marcos Perez, the catcher for Palm Beach Atlantic. In there for strike one. 0 1 count. Little low, ball one, 1 1 count. at that pitch. Foul ball down the first base line for Perez. Count is 1-2. Palm Beach Atlantic has had a few balls that have been very close to being fair. Down the lines, but just foul. Callahan delivers, good pitch as he gets Perez looking for the second out of the inning. A lot of movement on that curveball right there. Very good pitch, yes. Center fielder Derek Schwimmer. Back to their leadoff, Derek Schwimmer. Inside gets away from Fell. 1 0 count to Schwimmer. Palm Beach Atlantic has a pitcher warming up in the bullpen. We'll see what Coach Bottenfield decides to do. Good pitch from Callahan. Count is 1 1. Fouled off, count is one, two to Schwimmer. Good pitch from Callahan 
as he gets Schwimmer swinging for the third out of the inning. 4-3 Crusaders as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Looks like Coach Bottenfield will stay with Kevin Nunez for the time being. He has done a very good job since he's been in there. Designated hitter, Sean Parsons. Here's Sean Parsons, designated hitter today for North Greenville. Good catch by Marco Maleo for Palm Beach Atlantic for the first out of the inning. The third baseman, Connor Driscoll. Here's Connor Driscoll, the third baseman for North Greenville. First pitch is a little low, 1-0 count. Inside ball two. Fouled off, 2-1. Driscoll Waltz. Here comes the nine hole hitter for the Crusaders, Jack Morris. Good pitch there, 0 1 to Morris. Still 
Nunez throws over. Nunez throws over. He's trying to pick off Driscoll, but he gets back safely. Swing and a miss, 0-2 count to Morris. Nunez throws over once more. Fouled out of play, still 0-2. Little low, ball one, one two count to Jack Morris. Little high. Count is two balls, two strikes. Little low and the count is full. Full count to Jack Morris, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled away once more, good at bat by Morris. in there, he's safe. Way to get down the line right there by Jack Morris. Two on, one out, and the top of the order for the Crusaders is coming up next. Stepping in for the Crusaders. Jeremy Whitehead. Second baseman, Jeremy Whitehead. Mound visit now for Palm Beach Atlantic. And we're gonna see a pitching change. Yes, we are. Nunez will come out. Hawkins. 
So Kevin Nunez will finish pitching three and a thirds inning. Gave up four hits, walked two, struck out two, and gave up no runs. Heath Hawkins is a right-handed pitcher, six foot six senior from Matthews, North Carolina. Transfer from nearby Furman University here in Greenville, South Carolina. He has six appearances on the season, tied for most on the team. Has a 1.46 ERA. Now pitching for the Selfish, number 40, Heath Hawkins. He struck out six. Crucial time for him to come in the game. Bases loaded, one out. 4-3 game in the sixth. With the top of the order coming up. Jeremy Whitehead will come up to the plate. He's one for three on the day and has a stolen base. Excuse me, runners just on second and first, but still very crucial for Hawkins. come into the game at this point. Whitehead shows bunt, pops it up, caught by Marcos Perez for the second out of the inning. Not what they needed. Very unfortunate for Whitehead. They just popped it up and hung up there too long, and the catcher was able to get under it. The left fielder, Jared Williams. Here's Jared Williams. Side ball one. Pitch is low, two zero count as Perez tries throwing it back to get Driscoll at second. Driscoll got back safely. 2-0 count, two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled off, 2-1 count to Williams. Fly ball. Caught by right fielder Brandon Seltzer. Hawkins did a really nice job getting out of that jam.
Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Crusaders, number 41, Kip Raleigh. New pitcher for the Crusaders, number 41, Kip Rawlings. Six foot two senior from Kershaw, South Carolina, transfer from USC Lancaster. Top of the seventh here for the Selfish, third baseman Sean Houck will lead it off. First pitch from Kip Rawlings is a strike. ball. It's fielded by Whitehead, but no throw on the play. And Hauk is there safely with a single. The shortstop, Riley Harrell. Lead off single for Hauk. Now batting is Riley Harrell, the shortstop. First pitch, strike. Fouled off as it hit Harold in the box. I hope he's all right. Harold walks it off. That had to hurt, heading, fouling it off the shin. Count is 0-2. Fouled away again, 0-2 count. play by Sasser at first, Great he gets Harold. Sean Houck moves base. over to second base on that play as Sasser gets Harold at first. Runner on second, one out for Danny Tufferello.
in there for strike one. Pitch by Rawlings. 0 2 count. Fouled out of play. Little low, ball one, one ball, two strikes to Tufferello. Fouled away once more, one, two count. One ball, two strikes to Tufferello. Fly ball. Jack Morris catches it. Center fielder for North Danville makes the play. Two outs. The right fielder, Brandon Seltzer. Here is Brandon Seltzer. In there for strike one, one one count to Seltzer. A little low, ball two, two one count. Jeff Chandler tried to die for it. And Seltzer hits the ball. That's gonna tie up the game. Tie ball game, 4-4, four, four, as Chandler tried to dive for the ball and it got away. Now Palm Beach Atlantic has a runner on third. Very well take the lead here, the base hit. The first baseman, Connor Rowland. Here's Connor Rowland for Palm Beach Atlantic. Yeah. 
Rawlings gets rolling the swing at the first pitch. Seltzer is on third as he ties up the ball game at four. Good pitch right there by Rawlings. 0-2 oh, count. To a very good hitter in Roland, who hit two home runs last night. Fouled away, 0-2. Oh, Just outside, one, two, two rolling. Good pitch right there by Rawlings as he gets rolling to swing and miss, Ladies but and Palm Beach Atlantic does tie the game. Stretch. 4-4 as we head to the seventh inning stretch. For the Here's Utah Jones Jordan to lead off the bottom of the seventh for the Crusaders. Jones. He's one for three on the day. Outside, ball one. Out away, count is one one. Heath Hawkins doing the game for Palm Beach Atlantic pitching. Jones flies out to Marco Maleo in left field for the first out of the inning. Here comes Adam Sasser from North Greenville. The first baseman, Adam Sasser. Adam 
Sasser's one for two on the day, had a double, scored a run, and was hit by a pitch his last at bat. Back 373 on the season. Outside, ball one. Fouled off. Count is one ball, one strike to Sasser. Fouled away, one, two count. Side two two. Little low, full count to Sasser. Double action in the Palm Beach Atlantic bullpen. So we have two right handers warming up. Three two pitch. Caught the corner and Sasser strikes out for the second out of the inning as Hawkins got him looking. The right fielder, Jeff Chandler. Bring up Jeffrey Chandler Jr. Doesn't have a hit today. He's 0 for 2, but has a walk. Chandler swings at the first pitch. Harold fields it and throws it over to Roland at first. The Crusaders go down 1, 2, 3. Good pitching by Heath Hawkins as we head to the eighth. hitter Brandon Smith. Kip Rawlings still in the game for the Crusaders as Brandon Smith leads it off for Palm Beach Atlantic. Fouls off the first pitch of the at bat. 0-1 count. Little low, ball one. Shot 
chopper to Whitehead, and it gets through for a hit. Leadoff single for Brendan Smith. As left fielder Marco Maleo approaches the plate next. The left fielder Marco Maleo. First pitch swinging, Driscoll over to Whitehead, Whitehead over to Sasser. Tried to turn the double play, good effort by the Crusaders. They get the lead runner. Did not complete the double play, but good effort. By Driscoll. The catcher, Marcos Perez. Over to Whitehead and over to Sasser, good effort. Runner on first, one out for catcher Marcos Perez. Kip Rawlings throws over. Fouled off and it ricocheted off of John Michael Fells catching gear. The count is 0-1 to Marcos Perez. Perez shows bunt, but it is foul. 0-2 count. Rawlings throws over. Good play by Utah Jones as they turn the double play. They get Maleo at second. And Marcos Perez at first. Good play by Utah Jones. 4-4 headed to the bottom of the eighth. for the Crusaders will be John Michael Fail. No hits today, but scored a run after getting walked. He's batting 417 on the season.
Leading off for the Crusaders, the catcher, John Michael Fail. Keith Hawkins remains in the game for Palm Beach Atlantic. First pitch to fail is a little low, ball one. Fly ball, and it's gone. John Michael fell. It's a solo shot. He absolutely crushed that ball and puts the Crusaders up 5-4. What a shot by John Michael Fell as he puts the Crusaders up 5-4. Bottom of the eighth. The designated hitter. Yeah, hey, now scared that ball is going to come in here. Oh, it was coming right at us. Terrific job by Fell. Brings up the DH, Sean Parsons. He's one for two on the day and has a run. And he was walked. He swings at the first two pitches he sees. 0 oh, 2 count. Hawkins gets Parsons swinging for the first out of the bottom of the eighth. The third baseman, Connor Driscoll. Here comes Driscoll, third baseman for the Crusaders. First pitch swinging. It's going to be down for a hit. Good piece of hitting right there from Driscoll. One on for the Crusaders, one out. And they have just taken the lead off of a John Michael Fell solo home run. 5-4 Crusaders as... Now have a mound visit and we'll have a new pitcher. They are making a change. It's Heath Hawkins' day is done. And Heath Hawkins will finish the day pitching two innings, Whoa. giving up two hits, Guess one run. And that was We just saw that run in the home run just two batters ago. Had two strikeouts. And we'll leave with a 1.88 ERA. I thought Hawkins really pitched a good game in relief. He just left one ball up a little bit high and fell turned on it. And the relief pitcher will be Jeff Dixon. For the selfish number 35, Jeff Dixon. Jeff Dixon is a 6'4 junior from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Transfer from Kaiser University.
first batter that Jeff Dixon will face will be the nine-hole hitter, Jack Morris, who I think has had a very good game. Oh, yeah, two for three with an RBI. He's made some very good catches in the outfield. Probably saved a run on that, that deep one in center field. Absolutely, no question. No question about it. Up high, first picks, Dixon throws as high, 1-0. Stairs again, 2-0 to Morris. Dixon throws over. Now will get past him, but the runner will stay put. and throws a strike, two balls, one strike to Jack Morris. In there for a strike, two balls, two strikes. and throws over once more. Count is 2-2. One out in the bottom of the eighth. Low and the count is full. Driscoll was running on that pitch, but Jack Morris fouled it off. Dixon throws over. Driscoll was running again, and Jack Morris fouled it off. Good at bat by Morris, full count. And it's through there for a hit. Driscoll will advance over to third. Good hit from Jack Morris. Runners on the corners with one, one out in the eighth. What a game for Jack Morris. His third hit of the day.
stepping in for the Crusaders, the second baseman, Jeremy Whitehead. Now North Greenville's leader in batting average, Jeremy Whitehead will step up to the plate. He's one for four on the day, the stolen base. We'll see if North Greenville can get some insurance runs and try to extend this lead. Little low, ball one to Whitehead. Dixon throws over. Out of play, count is 1-1. One, one. Upstairs, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Whitehead. Low in the dirt, three one count to Whitehead. Dixon walks Whitehead to load the bases. I think we're gonna get a mound visit, and we will. This might be a new pitcher. Yes, it will yep. be. Coach Bottenfield is going to his bullpen. Let's see what number he is. Troy Clem. Troy Clem is a right-handed pitcher, six foot five, sophomore from Lando Lakes, Florida. He has three appearances on the season, a zero ERA. He's pitched four in the third inning. That's four strikeouts. Troy Clem. He's only walked one batter. He's only given up one hit in those four and one thirds innings.
first batter that Troy Clem will face will be left fielder Jared Williams. Crusaders have the bases well, loaded. Fielder, Connor Driscoll Jared. at third, Jack Morris at second, Jeremy Whitehead at first. We will see if the Crusaders can take advantage of this bases, of, bases loaded opportunity. Clem's first pitch is a little low. Ball one. Good pitch by Clem. Swing and a miss. One one to Williams. That's a hit. I might score two. Hit by Jared Williams. And it will. Play it second. What a play. Good base running by the Crusaders. Everyone's safe. Driscoll and Jack Morris both score. Makes the score seven to four here at the bottom of the eighth. Good piece of, good piece of hitting right there from Williams. Right up the middle. Now, two runners in scoring Utah position for Utah Jones. Jones. See if Utah Jones can extend this lead even further. First pitch swinging, chopper That's through the middle. Score two more. Whitehead scores, and they sent Jared Williams as well. Two-run single for Utah Jones. 9-4 now, Crusaders. Just like that, two swings of the bat and four runs. Found a hole, scored two. 9-4, Crusaders. Very good hitting, timely hitting by the Crusaders. As they have scored five in this the inning alone. First baseman, Adam Sasser. Here's Adam Sasser. First pick swinging. Fouled out of play. 0-1. I was trying to remember where the fifth run this inning came from, but it was that leadoff home run, which lead seemed off. like forever ago. Absolutely. The solo shot by John Michael Fell made it 5-4. That was absolutely a moonshot out to the center field wall, way over the fence. Ball gets away from Marcos Perez, and Utah Jones advances to second. Ball two, two one count to Sasser. Sasser swings at that pitch. Derek Schwimmer, the center fielder for Palm Beach Atlantic, is under it. And that is the second out of the inning. And here comes Jeff Chandler. The right fielder, Jeff 
Chandler. And the man who started off the inning with a home run is on deck, John Michael Fail. Here with two outs. First pitch swinging, fouls it into the North Greenville dugout, 0-1. Oh, and despite North Greenville having one less hit than Palm Beach Atlantic, North Greenville leading by five, that just shows the importance of driving in those runners that are on base. North Greenville with seven Outs. left on base, and Palm Beach Atlantic with eight. A little low and outside, 2-1 count to Chandler. down. They're well, sending you Carl Jones. Him. It will. Good hit by Jeff Chandler. So he brings in Jones. The game is now 10-4, to 4, North Greenville. Now North Greenville's bat around as batter let off the inning with a home run is now up to the plate again. Very good piece of hitting right there from Chandler. Good base running as they sent Utah Jones. To now make it 10-4. Crusaders, they have scored six runs here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's Fell. First pitch from Clem was a strike, 0-1 count. Swings at that pitch. Gets past the third baseman, Sean Houck, and that is a single for Phil. Another good hit. Yeah, it's two hits this inning now. And we'll see a pinch Here's runner come in for Phil. Base number 21, Toby Sponseller. Toby Sponseller in the run for John Michael Phil. Palm Beach Atlantic has nobody warming up in the bullpen, so Troy Clem's staying out there. Stepping in for the Crusaders, the designated hitter, Sean Parsons. Here's Sean Parsons. First pitch swinging, go one. Count is one, two. Good pitch by Clem as he gets Parsons on the strikeout. 
What an inning by the Crusaders. As they score six in the bottom of the eighth. And lead 10-4 as we head to the ninth. Your attention please now pitching for the Crusaders number 22 Brock Robinson new pitcher for the Crusaders Brock Robinson right-handed pitcher junior from Lou Golf South Carolina transfer from USC Lancaster Brock Robinson's third appearance on the season has a zero ERA. Has 4.2 innings pitch. He's given up four hits, struck out seven. He's only given up four hits, three of those singles, one double. Opponents are batting 250 against him. Leading off of the Selfish, the center fielder, Derek Schwimmer. Derek Schwimmer will lead it off for Palm Beach Atlantic here in the top of the ninth. Robinson's first pitch is low for ball one. Three O count to Schwimmer. Robinson walks Schwimmer on four pitches. Brings up third baseman Sean Houck. The third baseman Sean Houck. A little low, ball one. 1 0 to Hauk. Low in the dirt, 2 0 to Hauk. Get 
get a mound visit here. Coach Coop Langus is coming out to talk. Not expecting him to pull and just probably calming him down. He's thrown, I mean, all six pitches he's thrown have been balls. So just telling him, hey, you have a six run lead, throw strikes. Absolutely, Coach Coot Langus discussing it with Robinson. Inside ball three, 3 0 count to Hulk. To Hulk. In there for a strike, 3 1 count. Throws his first strike after throwing seven straight balls. Good pitch, full count now to Halk. Batter thought that one was inside. And Brock had not walked anyone prior to this appearance, so. Fouled off, still full count. Pitch is low and Hauk walks. Palm Beach Atlantic has runners on second and first. Well, this is second walk of the season. The shortstop, Riley Harold. Here's Riley Harold now. North Greenville is warming up a pitcher in the bullpen. Pitch is low, 1-0 to Harold. Low, ball two, 2-0. Two balls, no strikes to Harold. Called strike, two balls, one strike. There's a ground ball fielded by Whitehead. The ball is dropped by Utah Jones. That loads the bases with no outs. The second baseman, Danny Tufferello. Here's Danny Tufferello, second baseman for Palm Beach Atlantic. Bases loaded, no outs. Here in the top of the ninth. In there for a strike, 0-1. Tufferello. <laughs> Upstairs, ball one. One ball, one strike. <laughs> T 
Tafarello pops up. Flies out to Jeff Chandler. And the runners will stay put and record their first out. The right fielder, Brandon Seltzer. One out here in the ninth. Here comes Brandon Seltzer, the right fielder for the Selfish. First pitch is inside, 1-0. Low ball two, two oh. Good play by Jared Williams. As Seltzer flies out for the second out here in the ninth. The first baseman, Connor Rowland. Here's Rowan. Connor Rowland, the first baseman for the Selfish. Also just want to say Trace Bucknight is the catcher this inning for North Greenville as they took out John Michael Fell with a pitch runner. Roland swings at that pitch, 1-1 one, one count. Jack Morris catches it. That'll end our ball game. Ends the ball game. Jack Morris made some terrific catches in center field. That was another one. As Roland put good wood on it. And that'll be our final here in Tigerville. 10 to four, North Greenville takes the win. Good response to the defeat last night for the Crusaders as they split the series with Palm Beach Atlantic. Both of these games were very good. Two good teams competing against one another. They both, but they both win one game in the series. Any major takeaways from the game today? Not really, just great performance by just a lot of players, really. Jack Morris probably had the best performance of the day, going three for four. And also, like you said, the great plays in center field. Absolutely. Morris played well. They really came together there in the eighth. Scoring six. And that home run by John Michael Fail in the bottom of the eighth just seemed to spark the bats for North Greenville. Absolutely. The Fail home run was definitely a turning point in the ball game as he untied the ball game. And that started the scoring spree for the Crusaders. Good response to the loss last night. Good team win tonight. The next North Greenville game will be Friday against the Erskine Flying Fleet at 3.30 p.m. Appreciate all of you watching our telecast and our broadcast, and we appreciate all of you tonight. 
Have a blessed evening.